All right, it's BD. Today we are going to go over how to make a quick little weight pin for vacuum hanging. This is because I started selling vacuum hangers on peakmalphysique.com. What spurred this is that me and my partner saw a bit of a need in the market for actually affordable PE gear that is not going to break immediately. So everything I'm gonna sell on there has been tested by me for almost two years at this point. It's everything I used to gain. So, secondly, this is the announcement of the demonstration channel that I am making. So I'm going to show you how to use this PE equipment on a secondary channel. So in case it pisses off YouTube and they have to shut it down, I don't lose two years worth of work. So, Let's go over this little weight pin that cost me like four to five dollars to make. You could probably do it for less if you do not shop at the big box retail. You could probably do it for less if you don't shop at the big box retailers, but there's one right beside my gym. So I just went with that for simplicity. What you will need is a three eighths of an inch eye hook, anywhere from four inches to six inches long. Typically, if you want to hang a lot of weight for whatever reason, you're going to need like an 8 to 10 inch. But remember, they will then limit, or that will then limit the vertical space you have. Then you'll just need two 3 eighths of an inch washer that are bigger than the standard barbell hole. So, this shit, I believe is an inch and a half to two inch washers. I recommend getting two of them and I'll show you why in a second. First, put the washer on top, put the weight, probably don't drop it as fast as I did with the washer, then make a sandwich with the other washer. All right, then this is the annoying part about this, is you have to screw this little nut all the way down to the weight. So this will take, I, don't, I guess, faster than I expected. The more weight you have, the less distance you have to travel, obviously. Tighten it just a tad, so that way it doesn't jingle. You can have it loose if you want, but then it jingles. Be a little annoying, a little unpleasant between your legs. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Um, when I first started, however, I literally just got plastic out of my junk drawer. Not plastic. When I first started, though, I used a bunch of zip ties in the piece of junk metal from my junk drawer, tied it together, and it lasted me well over two years. It's somewhere in the mess that I call my office. And it still works just fine. However, this is more elegant and probably safer in the long run. Um, so if you do end up buying one of my kits, our carabiner is kind of small at this very moment. This is a 3 8 of an inch diameter hook, so it just barely gets over the carabiner. We're looking to upgrade it um, within after we go through this stock, so it won't be that big of an issue in the future, hopefully. But like if you're doing this on your own, don't go above 3 8 of an inch uh, thick bolt, and then you'll be fine. And then obviously you can pick up a carabiner of any size and it will work. So whatever you need. Uh, also, if you don't want to go through all that, you can literally just get a shopping bag and then use soup cans. Since each soup can is about a pound, you just use that as your unit of measure. So if you want to hang five pounds, five soup cans, put them in the bag, connect it to the vacuum hanger, and then that's it. So that covers the, the attachment mechanism for vacuum hanging. This will also work with compression hangers. You'll just need more weight. Um, hopefully. So. I'm going to strip down and then in, on the other channel, I'm gonna show you how to put this stuff on in a different variety of methods. I guess it's only really one method and then three ways to avoid blisters while using it. And then we'll talk about sleeve length and why it kind of matters. All right, see you there.